Hi people! After 20 Nefarian kills, we finally had a tier 2 druid chest drop and I could complete my storm rage set. Yes, we haven't had a single storm rage chest drop from Nefarian in 19 kills. Storm rage, together with all other tier 2 sets, were fully obtainable as phase 3 went live. However, despite clearing full BWL every reset and me being guaranteed that tier 2 pieces were druids, I didn't get my full set until a few weeks into phase 5. That's some crazy RNG right there. Anyway, now that I finally have obtained full tier 2, we're going to talk about why you might want to keep using this set for the whole of phase 5. As I watched the famous druid player Ebonflow clear their first AQ40, I noticed that his go to heal was rejuvenation. Same was true when I watched Soda Puppen clear his first AQ40. I asked Ebonflow how it was that he used rejuvenation that much, to which he replied, With how much AoE damage is in AQ40, I found it better than my normal healing rotation. We have some really strong shaman healers, but on the fights where everyone is so spread, hots work nicely when Shane heal isn't reaching as many players. Much of the damage in AQ40 is AoE. Thunderclap from the big boys, arcane explosion, meteors, poison volleys, whirlwinds, all of this mean rejuvenation healing is the way to go for a druid. And as you can see here, with rejuvenation healing on the difficult trash between Huhuran and Twin Emperors, I outheal everyone else on almost all fights. The fact that rejuvenation is such a strong heal and the fights in AQ40 favors it made me wonder. Is it even worth picking up any off pieces from AQ40? Or should I just stick with Storm Rage and maybe grab a ring, a cloak and a new main hunt? When looking into this, I decided to use the gear considered best for druids in phase 5 according to woeclassicbest.com and compare this with the Storm Rage. Full tier 2 for druids gives a total of 275 healing and has quite a lot of stats. Looking only at the stats, we see that Full tier 2 gives a total of 122 stamina, 177 intellect, 103 spirit, 20 mp5 and 2% spell crit. The AQ40 counterparts gives 104 stamina, 116 intellect, 71 spirit, 22 mp5 and yet again 2% spell crit. Comparing the plus healing between the two sets, Storm Rage gives 275, while the AQ40 pieces gives 500, a difference of 225. However, keeping Nick, Back, Weapons, Idols, Rings and Trinkets the same and adding to that all the Biss and Shants, the total healing with Storm Rage goes up to 987, and the total healing with AQ40 pieces becomes 1212. With this in mind, we now look at some of the ranks for Rejuvenation. Note that I'm using the Moonglow build with 3 points in improved Rejuvenation for these numbers. The following numbers are with the AQ40 set. And now with tier 2. Naturally, the base healing is 25% higher with tier 2 due to having 5 ticks instead of 4. Something important which you might not have considered is that having full tier 2 increases the value of plus healing as well. Normally, you'd get 0.8 times your healing power per rejuvenation, but with full tier 2 that goes up to 1.0, meaning your healing power also becomes 25% stronger. So despite the fact that you get about 23% more healing power from the full AQ40 pieces, the full tier 2 is still stronger in the end, as it increases the value of your healing power. 0.8 times 1212 is 970, while obviously 1 times 987 is 987. The one part where AQ40 wins over tier 2 is the HPS per rejuvenation. 
The HPS per rejuvenation is between 16 to 9% higher for the AQ gear. The total HPS you can dish out, supposing you rejuvenate the targets every global cooldown, is between 5 to 14% higher for Storm Rage. This is because the extra 3 seconds allows you to keep 2 more rejuvenations active. Looking at the mana efficiency of your heals, Storm Rage has between 5 to 14% higher efficiency depending on the rank. Overall, this was actually a bit saddening for me to realize. Obviously it's great that Storm Rage is so strong for rejuvenation healing, but it also means that there are very few gear upgrades inside AQ40 for me. Obviously the Scepter of the False Prophet will be a huge upgrade, giving me 132 extra healing. Besides that, the Cloak of Clarity, together with the Ring of the Martyr, will give an extra 13 MP5 and 3 healing. Cetra's Might is such a small upgrade that I will likely never care about it, giving me 2 extra MP5 and 2 less healing power. The Amulet of the Fallen God from Cthulhu would give me 11 more healing and 11 more stamina, compared to the Amulet of the Shifting Sands from AQ40 at least. But considering the casters can get the Ring of the Fallen God from the Eye of Cthulhu, and 11 healing is a minor upgrade, I'll likely never care for that Nick. So, the Scepter, but everything besides that is a rather minor upgrade. It's kinda boring stepping into a new raid that only has one big upgrade for you. Either way, Rejuvenation healing is great, and Storm Rage is the best gear for it as of now. Either way, this was all I had for this video. I hope you found the clips of the crazy rejuvenation healing fun to watch, peaking at about 940 HPS. I have recently created my own Discord, Cloudy Days, which everyone is free to join. In there you can ask questions, perhaps come with suggestions and see what videos I'm currently working on. I also stream over at twitch.tv slash clouds. Link to both of these is in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video, make sure to like if you did. With all this said, I'll be back soon with another video, and until then, see ya!